Oh boy, Taylor Swift, the pop princess, our beautiful, wholesome, heroic, strong Taylor Swift. Well, apparently, there was a joke on Netflix on a TV show. I don't remember the name of it, and quite frankly, it does not matter what the name of that, that show is. But there was a TV show on Netflix, not once, but twice, made a joke about Taylor Swift's breakups. You know how, you know, Taylor Swift always get in a relationship and then he, she breaks up, gets in a relationship, break up. It's, it's like the same old story with Taylor Swift. It's like a recurring joke at this point. But apparently, Taylor Swift's own fan base and Taylor Swift herself did not like this. She and her fan base was trying to cancel this TV show, canceling Netflix all around like, that was, like, the worst thing. I mean, you could talk about cuties all you want, but when you made a joke about Taylor Swift's relationships, of her breaking up and, and, and getting together and breaking up and all that, oh, that's off limits. And Taylor Swift got really pissed off with that joke. makes me feel like Taylor Swift A can't take a joke and B takes herself way too seriously and a three just don't know how to lighten up like that just comes to show you what type of generation we're living in you can make a joke I said this about my k-pop video that I recently did like how I said about you can't make a joke about Korean pop artists even if it was a joke they will try to make like a cancel thing or like a rally to get you off the internet because you're worse than fucking Hitler. You're worse than Saddam Hussein. You're worse than Osama bin Laden if you if you make a joke about K-pop artists. Same thing with these 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 Swifties, these Swifters, whatever the hell Taylor Swift calls her fan base. It's pathetic. Taylor Swift, she man, she needs to stop being a damn drama queen. You know what? I'm starting to understand why do so many crybabies and whiny little fuckers and people who get all in their feelings like they say today loves Taylor Swift. I understand why they bow down and lick her toes and why they eat her vagina out and kiss her ass. You wanna know why? Because Taylor Swift is like these people. People who just can't get a grip with reality, who go mental anytime you talk down. Talk down about Taylor Swift, there's gonna be a lot of people harassing you, giving you hate mail, hate messages. Ooh, Chico, I'm so scared, you know. They th they, these people think they're so great because they're Taylor Swift fans. When well, news flash, Taylor Swift is not a goddess. She's not a queen, she's not a princess. Hell, she don't even qualify as a duchess. Taylor Swift is just a musical artist. And Taylor Swift need to learn how to take a joke, take criticism. She can't take criticism. She can't take a joke. Why do you think all of her songs, if it ain't about breakups or cheesy relationships, it has something to do with her haters? And by haters, it's like critics who say, oh, you know, Taylor Swift, all she does is a lot of breakup songs or relationships that are so mushy. It's always got to be about teenage breakups or teenage relationship songs. And if you are a grown-ass man or a woman, listening to Taylor Swift, then you need some help, really, because her music is not even for you. It's for teenagers, teenagers who have so much relationship problems, and they're too young to be even worrying about relationships. Shouldn't you be worrying about, I don't know, staying in school, worrying about your career path, worrying about what you're going to do when you get older? Not this, oh, you know, Clarence broke up with me and, and I, 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 I curse him. I never, ever, ever want to break up with him. Yeah, you know, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about that. This is why, you know, I try to give Taylor Swift credit with her music. Yeah, she has talent. Yeah, she can play instruments and stuff like that. She's not a bad singer, but it's her personality. It's like, it's just a turnoff. Maybe that is, maybe it's Taylor Swift herself is why these dudes keep breaking up with her. Why she has so much failed relationships after failed relationships after failed relationships. This woman is just, look how she acts when somebody makes a joke. Like she probably had a joke done on her. Like, you know, let's make a joke on Taylor Swift. Oh, hey babe. Oh, you know, Taylor, uh, you know, 
crack, you know, crack a joke on her, and she can't take it. Like, what you just said? And her eyes is twitching and stuff. Her eyes get all big, and her right eyes twitching. And then she wants to be, get out, get out my house. I don't ever want to see you again. Get out. Like, like that's. I don't know. Maybe Taylor Swift is a complete psychopath. I literally don't understand how do these celebrities stay in the limelight and they get so pissed off at something like a harmless joke not once but multiple times and i bet you taylor swift is like see they're just meanie haters just bunch of haters just and people look up to this girl one guy said to me that taylor swift is a hero and she 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 helped me cure my depression this woman cured your depression bro really this woman right here who can't take a fucking joke but that's just that that comes to show you what generation we're living in what type of time frame in human society we are living in where people can't take a joke where you can get canceled for just just making a joke it's not even mean it's not even harsh nobody said anything about taylor swift personally took shots at her personally they just made a just a joke a comment on real life stuff taylor swift had a lot of failed relationships but yet here comes this woman crying falling down the stairs all because some people on some netflix show made a joke about it taylor swift and her fans could go suck a fucking dick these are the kind of people that's ruining our society that just so touchy touchy like everything offends them and you can't say anything bad because you may offend someone that's why i am the way i am look i'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings with this video but i'm damn sure not gonna come on here and try to protect people's feelings and try to restrict myself why because bound you know in this day and age you're bound to make someone mad you're gonna piss someone off you're gonna trigger somebody but here's the thing taylor People who are making jokes about your failed relationships are not haters. People who make criticisms on your failed relationships are not your haters. Maybe there are people that are just tired of you talking about how you broke up with this guy, how you broke up with that guy, all these cheesy romance songs like Romeo and Juliet and I'm sitting on the bleacher, da 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 no, no, but come on, man. This isn't, this isn't fun to listen to. This isn't entertaining. So in closing, Taylor Swift, and her fans need to learn how to take a joke okay stop taking everything so seriously and learn how to live life <laughs> taylor swift is a crybaby no wonder she has a bunch of crying fan base like a, such a weak 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 fan base